Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was Name the street that connects Red Sea and Gulf of Aden. And it is Bab al Mandab, that is the street name. It is located between Yemen on the Arabian Peninsula and Djibouti and Eritrea in the Horn of Africa. So this Bab al Mandab connects Red Sea and Gulf of Aden. Let's now start today's session. First question for the day, Anita, a radio telescope designed by NASA will be used for exploration of which among the following area? Option A, Antarctica, Option B, Arctic, Option C, International Space Station and Option D, Mars. Yes, the correct answer here is, it is Option A, Antarctica. Anita is Antarctic Impulsive transient antenna it is a radio telescope instrument to detect ultra high energy cosmic ray neutrinos from a scientific balloon flying over continent of antarctica and it involves an array of radio antennas attached to a helium balloon which flies over the antarctic ice sheet it is the first nasa observatory for neutrinos of any kind and recently this radio telescope has detected an unusual upward movement of neutrinos in Antarctica. Instead of high energy neutrinos streaming in from space, they seem to have come from the Earth's interior before hitting the detectors of ANITA. So it is a recent development in science and technology. Uh, that's why this question is asked. Moving to the second question. Second question is with reference to cost India recently seen in the news, consider the following statement. Statement 1. It is a GIS enabled dashboard that includes an India map reflecting the movement of migrants in real time on their long journeys. Statement 2. It has been developed by India Observatory in collaboration with Anand based Foundation for Ecological Security FES. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 only, Option B 2 only, Option C both 1 and 2 and Option D neither 1 nor 2. Guys, here both the statements are correct. So our answer is option C, both 1 and 2. The Cost India platform is a map reflecting movement of migrants in real time on their long journeys, often on foot along with facilities and relief organizations on their routes. It is an initiative by India Observatory and is done with a collaboration with Anand based Foundation for Ecological Security as its main nodal point and it draws information from 55 organizations on the ground mostly in villages and aims to make such data available so that it would enable governments and small local civil society groups to be of assistance of migrant labors and uh, the map matches time and spatial data on administrative facilities in the area transportation and healthcare facilities of an area etc and guys, India Observatory is an open data platform launched by Foundation for Ecological Security only. And FES is an NGO working on conserving forest, land and water resources at the grassroots. So that is it. That's about uh, Cost India platform. Moving to the last question for the day. Last question is with reference to International Labour Organization ILO. Consider the following statement. Statement 1. It is established by the Bretton Woods Agreement, Statement 2, it became the first affiliated specialized agency of the United Nations in 1946. Statement 3, it won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1969. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A, 1 and 2 only. Option B, 2 only. Option C, 1 and 3 only. And Option D, 2 and 3 only. Okay, so the correct answer here is, it is established by Treaty of Versailles not by Bretton Woods agreement. So our answer comes option D, 2 and 3 only. It is established in 1919 by Treaty of Versailles as an affiliated agency of League of Nations. It became the first affiliated specialized agency of United Nations in 1946 and it is headquartered in Geneva. It promotes internationally recognized human and labor rights and it received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1969 and 2019 was International Labour Organization's 100th anniversary and guys 
it is the only tripartite un agency it brings together governments employees and workers of 187 member states to set labor standards develop policies and devise programs promoting decent work for all women and men and recently uttar pradesh madhya pradesh gujarat and some other states either have suspended a large number of labor laws for 2 3 years or diluted them in an attempt to woo industry in the midst of covid-19 pandemic and ilo has expressed concern on this so that was in news recently that's why this question is asked and guys it's time for quiz question and you know about ilo conventions and there are two important conventions convention 138 and 182 and our question is these conventions 138 and 182 of ilo is related to what so please post your answers in the comment section that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions please post your scores also in the comment section thank you for watching